Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nick from Navs Tech, but as my children are having a battle royale upstairs, I want to do a quick review of this Idea Center. Lenovo Q190. This thing's six years old today, actually, on uh, November 21st, interestingly enough. And, uh, of course, six years old means there's a lot of places that'll be cycling it out. Lenovo does a bunch of work, and uh, a lot of government corporations, various corporations, only trust Dell and Lenovo. So at the six-year point, it's time to turn them around, meaning these things are going to be hitting the secondary market soon. So let's take a look at what they got. We've got a lock on the very far side. We've got power cap 5, um, uh, HDMI, four USB 2.0 ports, and a uh, VGA. Very nice. Anybody saying that we got to scrap the VGA isn't in IT in a corporation that's non-technical related. So here we go. Here it is. It came with a CD player directly sat upon. Oh wait, we got uh, USB 3.0 in the front and uh, headset and microphone, but no headset slash microphone combo. And of course, uh, card reader, SD card reader. Let's pop this thing open and we'll see. And I got this thing upgraded about as far as I can. If I wanted to upgrade it even farther, I would get uh, an eight gigabyte uh, stick of RAM in there. It's just four. And of course I got an SSD. The cost of SSD is so low, we might as well. And there we've got the little fan. You'll also notice that I put some quarters as heat sinks on there because, man, this thing gets really hot. The fan definitely collects a lot of dust. Not very hard. And then after that, it should be noted that it can only take one stick of RAM. So I want to give this thing a test. I want to benchmark it. I want to see how it does on the past mark benchmark and compare it to other units. This was definitely a budget thing. It has a Lenovo. Oh, sorry, it has an Intel Celeron. I think it's a 10610 uh, dual core operating at 1.6 gigahertz. So not so bad, let's get into the benchmark. So I get this unit plugged in and going, we can tell pretty quickly that it definitely is relatively slow. I had it on for about five minutes right now, 69% memory, and it's in about, the CPU's in in about 50%. So I'm gonna let this thing uh, stick around, hang around for a while before I actually throw a benchmark at it. Okay, so yeah, we definitely got an Intel HD graphics and dual core Celeron CPU at uh, 1017, 1.6 gigahertz. All right, so it's time for a benchmark. We got it loaded up, and as usual, I will come back to the benchmark when it has uh, the visuals. All right, we got DirectX 9 going at not even six frames per second chugging along chugging along like a champ but still trying and then direct x10 not even one single frame per second and i'm not even being penalized a full frame per second of being penalized by 0.28 so yeah that's not good oh my goodness ladies and gentlemen we got direct x11 we got direct x11 that means i can probably put grand theft auto 5 on this and it's actually running DirectX 11 better than it ran DirectX 9. That's freaking amazing. No way this thing gets 12. Okay, yeah, definitely doesn't get 12. All right, so there's the benchmark, 539. That's uh, about twice as good as a uh, CQ2000. And that is basically a PC version of a netbook. And... Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it is what it is. It's definitely not the best. I can't really upgrade this thing much further, though, unfortunately. Would you use this kind of thing at home for an entertainment system? No, I wouldn't. I would use this thing for uh, something you'd attach to a TV in order to play video back on it, but that's about it. Now, right there, you can see how hot the thing's getting. It definitely looks like uh, the quarter I put on there is actually doing a bit of a nice job. The quarter seems like about the only place, the heat pipe in that quarter are the only place that, uh, that are actually somewhat cool on that thing. Even the hard drive is much hotter. Huh. Meanwhile, it's, it's hot to the touch. It definitely feels hotter. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it from me. Nev from Nev's Tech. That's like and subscribe if you like this stuff. And as always, folks, take care of each other, eh?